Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. I wanted to come and do a quick video on a topic that has been on my heart. It's about dealing with failure and I won't make this long. I just had a challenging day at work today and um, I felt like I wasn't on my game today. So that prompted this video. I just wanted to give five tips on how to deal with failure and overcoming it um, no matter if it's a small error or something that you feel like you can't overcome. So the first, I wrote them down, the first is to take the appropriate amount of time to be upset and to lick your wounds. So I'm very, I think a lot of us are kind of type A people and we are perfectionists, but take it's okay to take that time to feel sad and feel upset. Kind of treat yourself a little bit. I like to eat ice cream, watch some reality TV, or take a long bath but the point is to not wallow in that sadness if it's something let's say like today I gave myself about 30 minutes to just process the whole thing to kind of just rest my head and then after that that's it no more thinking about it the day is done so just take your moment and then move on um, and I say this because you don't want to be in those feelings for too long because then you can get into a state of feeling hopeless which can lead to depression and that's somewhere that I wouldn't want any of you to be in. It's hard to get out of a state of depression once you're in it and it's very easy to get into that state. So just make sure that you give yourself a cutoff or a deadline for where you just decide, okay, I'm over it. I wanted to share my step one experience. So I didn't pass my first board exam the first time. And it actually took me about four months to recover from that. Yeah, I was studying, but it wasn't effective because I kept thinking about all the things that I did wrong. And it was just really, I guess for me, it was embarrassing. I saw my classmates progressing. You start getting those thoughts that make you feel like you're in a hopeless situation. You put in all this energy, all this time, and it didn't pan out. So for me in that situation, I think that was one of the biggest blows. Um, and it took me months to recover from that. And actually a lot of people don't know that information. But eventually I was able to bounce back. But I wish I, wish I would have, I guess, gotten over it sooner because I thought it was the end of the world. I thought it was the end of my medical career, but it actually wasn't. And after putting things into perspective, I was able to bounce back. So don't don't stay in that sad state for too long. The second tip, I guess, is to know your worth and to know that that situation doesn't define you. It It doesn't define who you will be in the future or who you even are right now. People make mistakes, we're all human. And also tomorrow is definitely a brand new day. Even if it feels like you're having lots of bad days in a row, there's gonna be that one day where the sun is gonna come out and everything will work itself out. Um, so for me, what helps is having those key scriptures that I can go to to lift myself up, as well as, I don't look at this often, but I wrote it down in case and it's just some affirmations that I have um, to help the first is you are here by God's appointment number two you are here in God's keeping number three you are here under God's training and number four you are here for God's time and then underneath I wrote favor equals undeserved kindness so there are times where I'm not prepared for something or I'm just not feeling well that day but the events of the day at when I get to the end of the day I say that must have been God because I was not ready for something but God made a way for the rest of the day to be okay or for that situation to be okay the next tip is learn from it and be prepared for the next time I'll go back to the step one exam so I have this history of having test anxiety and it really, it puts me in a state of distress. So it's something that I've struggled with 
And every time I struggle with it, God finds a way to test me again. So fast forward to step two, and um, I had a, a personal family event. Happened two days before my exam. I thought I could do it, and then I get my score back, and I just missed it by a point. I missed passing by a point. So I think going through the step one experience actually helped me bounce back quickly from my step two experience because I, I didn't even have time to really be upset. I think I gave myself one or two days, then I had to hop, hop back into studying. I didn't think about anything else, but I need to pass this exam. So I actually only had two weeks to restudy for the exam to meet the deadline that I set, my, set for myself. So there was no time for crying, no time for wallowing in my sorrows like the first time. So that first time I learned from it that you can't, you can't just hold on to that feeling of sadness. You have to get out of bed, take a shower, wash your face, and do what you need to do to overcome that obstacle. I'm not saying that I don't have anxiety with test taking, I'm just saying it's better managed after those two experiences. The fourth tip is to confide in somebody that you trust, and I'm saying just one person. You don't have to tell the entire world your business just have that one person that you can talk to and you're talking in a positive light um, that's not to say you don't share your disappointment you can say this situation really hurt me and I'm feeling a bit down just so that you don't bring that other person down with what's happening I never want to do that to somebody but it's good to share your burden with somebody you trust so for myself it's my spouse and I think that's very, a very healthy way to deal with um, failure. The fifth tip, you probably can already figure it out, is to try again. And this doesn't mean to try one time. It means to keep trying until you reach that goal. A way to do that is to, let's say you're having a tough time at work. You can ask for feedback from people on ways to improve. Or in my situation, figuring out ways to manage that stress and any test anxiety that I feel because I'm gonna have to take exams for the rest of my life and it's something that I need to work out. So whatever it is, don't give up, keep pushing, keep trying, even if you have to try one, 10, 100 times, it doesn't matter. Just keep going and you be your best form of encouragement because if you don't encourage yourself, most people won't. And if you don't believe it inside here that you're going to succeed, then you're just speaking into existence something that I don't want for you. So if you're not able to motivate yourself and encourage yourself, just flip that mentality. You have to be your biggest cheerleader so that you can overcome any of these obstacles. So I hope these tips or advice help. And just remember that you can overcome anything that comes your way. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.